Um, sorry about that. I had to uh, get the uh, key out of the lockbox. Um, I was having a little trouble reaching it. It was up high. So, we have a deadbolt lock. Um, these areas out here, I found, have are very, um, uh, people are just not interested in taking your stuff. So, um, a lot of times, I live, like I said, in Jamestown, and I live alone. Um, and I'm, I'm 71. I don't usually tell, tell people that. But um, I, I feel quite safe. Um, I don't, um, I don't usually uh, put my uh, door lock, my uh, deadlock, I'm sorry, deadbolt on um, until um, until I go to bed. And I have I have two dogs that bark, so they're they're my alarm system. But I actually feel quite safe in the area, and the neighbors look out for me, and we well, I look out for them. So you know, being in a small town does have its perks. So we've got a little little work to do in here. This could be a little project thing. Here's your uh, electric panel, breaker panel. It's a good thing. Um, not sure what happened here. It looks like they put the drywall in, but they just kind of screwed it into the wall. So you might want to replace that, put some outlet covers in. Um, your windows are metal. Yeah, this feels like, yeah, metal, metal frame, metal window. Um, got a nice, this would be your living room. Uh, I would throw away that rug, it's gonna be staying on it. Um, but this is a nice size. And particularly if you're just coming down to enjoy the, um, the outdoor activities at Big South Fork National Park or something like that, you can go, um, <coughs> I think I might have, <coughs> sorry. I think I might have told you this morning, um, we have kayaking and canoeing on the river. There's ATV trails that are just minutes from here. Um, there is, um, sorry, hiking and bike, uh, mountain biking trails at Big South Fork, ATV trails as well. And um, all those things are just within 30 minutes of this house. So this will be your living room. It's painted blue. You can see, nice, nice ceiling fan. The floors look good. Um, I'm kind of a floor nut, uh, so I always look at the floors. Um, sometimes we'll feel, you know, we can tell if there's a foundation issue just by walking in and seeing if this, if the weight, floors are wavy or if they feel soft in some areas. And I always will tell you if I feel that. So far, I haven't. Um, the inspector, of course, um, if you put an offer on this property and it's accepted, uh, within two weeks, we would help you get a home inspector to come out and inspect the cabin. And um, if whatever is found wrong, they always find something, and it's okay. Uh, we ask the seller to fix things. Um, here's your window unit over here. It doesn't have central air and heat. Um, but yeah, we... Um, we ask them to fix things. Um, usually they're uh, amenable to doing that. If they're not, um, and we have a problem, and we can't get it negotiated, then you have the right of walking away from the deal. And I try to find you something else. Um, so this, this is a little iffy. I'm not sure I want to step on that. Okay, well, it's not bad. It's, it seems kind of sturdy but I would feel a lot better if this were replaced, if it were me. You have woods as your uh, maple tree right here. You probably, it's gonna be probably screaming yellow in the fall. It'll be beautiful. And I'm sure you have the fall like that too in, in uh, upstate New York. And we, we have beautiful um, season shades. Here's a, some little um, pendant lights. You have a, a nice little kitchen. You've got the bull nose finish on your um, on your countertop. It is laminate, but it's a well done laminate. Uh, you do have a modern nice refrigerator. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the dishwasher calling the refrigerator. I'm so sorry. I'm tired and it's hot. 
Um, but yeah, you have a dishwasher there. It's Frigidaire. Uh, under your, of course, the inspector would get under here. He's probably going to say that that, um, uh, I don't know whether this is an S trap or a P trap. He's probably going to say that it needs to be changed to the other one. But, and that's okay. That's not a big fix. Um, usually the seller will do that. And sometimes just buyers say, well, I'll do that myself to keep the number of things that you asked for to a minimum. Okay, under here, you've got a nice little Lazy Susan. These are really handy. I never never knew how cool they were until I had one um, when I lived up in Washington State. And I had a house that had one. It was really awesome. So you have plenty of cabinets. A um, little, little um, hesitancy there to open is probably because they're painted. And this little um, felt thing kind of sticks a little bit. It's a little humid today. So that's probably why. But they're nice and deep. I need a space for a little, little cabin. This is awesome. Um, so you have a nice microwave and a nice oven, full-size oven and stove. Um, actually, there is also, um, you might want to check this out if you're into fishing or boating. Um, oh, here's your fridge, refrigerator. Okay. Um, it's been cleaned out. It probably could use a little more cleaning. They've got a huh. couple things in there. Um, and this over here, um, sorry I'm digressing, this would be where you put your stackable laundry. Um, they're pretty popular in the smaller cabins, and I've seen them in some really deluxe cabins that are just on the small size. And they, they, sell, um, they put a stackable in, and it works perfect. Cabinets. Wash your dryer. Uh, back here is the switch for the water heater. So when you're not using it, you turn it off. And I'm not sure, I'll have to find out um, when I get back to my office, if the water heater is an on-demand um, type or whether it's um, a regular. Okay, this is your bathroom. It's nice and cheery. It does have a, uh, a propane stove. I think it's propane, maybe it's no, it looks like natural gas, probably. But I will check that. I just don't have my sheet with me. So that's um, that's nice. Uh, in in the winter, um, we don't have winters as severe as you have in New York, but we do have winter, and sometimes they can get a little on the severe side. We had a in uh, back in I think late February, we had a an ice storm. We had uh, a little bit of snow, and then it went away after a day doesn't stay very long. Um, and uh, the next week, I think it was, um, we had an ice storm that came through because it was a front that just kind of hit us by surprise almost. And um, we had about a quarter inch of ice on everything and about a quarter of an inch or a half an inch of snow on top of that. So we didn't go anywhere for three or four days. And most of the town of Jamestown was out of, um, out of power. So uh, the neat thing, though, about that was that neighbors were helping neighbors. Um, they were, uh, people were, you could get on the internet if you had, you know, your cell signal, you could get on that. And people were um, asking for help, uh, asking if anybody had, um, had propane or anything like that and to run their generator. Um, people were offering to loan people uh, propane heaters and um, other things that would help keep them warm. My house was very cold because I didn't have a generator. I will this next winter. So um, you want to be prepared for winter, and I'm sure you know how to do that. So this is a nice, large size um, bathroom. I'm not sure about this right here. I don't... Yeah, this seems, okay. This is a laminate, and it goes up, and then it kind of, you see how it kind of comes, so they, um, they bent it around this. And it works quite well. It's unusual. And then you you have a nice big stove, um, soaker, soaker. I'm sorry, soaker tub, and uh, it's a surround a surround um, tower uh, shower stove. Shower stove. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble talking today. Um, I think the heat getting up to 90 is really really hot for me. So you have a 
red shower head, a nice um, handheld uh, shower head, and um, you have a nice, this is a real nice um, uh, addition here, the towel rack. Okay, so, and you, uh, you have a little can lights that you turn off with this. You can turn them all the way off and all the way back on. So we'll turn those off. Um, the simple cabin, uh, it does have a door here um, that you can, oh, this is cool. Okay, I was wondering how that worked. It has a, um, a door on a uh, rail and works kind of like a, kind of like a pocket door, but not exactly, it's not inside the wall. So this gives you some privacy, of course. Just slide the door and you have privacy. Okay. Um, here again is your, is your kitchen. Uh, the town of Oneida, that is the closest town, has a large Walmart uh, for just a uh, variety of things that you need. Um, also food, there is a Kroger grocery. Um, it's kind of a, I don't know if it's up where you are, but Kroger is a big chain in the South. Um, and there, the stores, are, this one is really nice. When I, I'm used to going to the Walmart in Jamestown, which is small, and I went in the Kroger over here in Oneida. Uh, I'm sorry, Kroger in Crossville, not, not, not Oneida, scratch that, it's not in Oneida. Um, it's in Crossville. I went into the Kroger and I thought I'd died and gone to heaven <laughs> because it was a real grocery and it was awesome. And lots of fresh produce, really good things. Now down in your country towns, um, there's a lot of farmer's markets um, and things that we have on the weekends and sometimes during the, during the week. And actually, um, actual farmers would sit out in their front yards and sell corn or whatever they were um, um, they were growing, and you could get it straight from the farmer. This needs a little bit of help, but I have one that needs that too, so not a big problem, it can be fixed. You just need an, either a new rail, or just need to fit this in the rail. So you have a closet here, and this, there's no actual bedroom, so this would be like a studio. So you'd put probably a bed in here, maybe make it a, um, a day bed, if that's possible, and um, and that would be your your living room bedroom combination. Over here, I see looks like a cable connection. Um, some people don't use cable. I gave up cable several years ago, and I use internet TV. So I have a uh, we have really good um, internet here. We have um, most I think Onada has fiber optic like Jamestown does. And uh, we have one gig speed, and I'm pretty sure Orana has the same. I don't know, you said that would be important for you to know. So I will check that out. If you like the cabin and you wanted to proceed with it, I would check that out before you did anything. Um, but the, um, the internet speeds out here are good. I did sell a, um, a, a log cabin on, in Oneida um, that, um, to a couple of guys that, um, need, that work from home and they needed a really good internet and they were very happy with what they got. So I think that would be no problem. So this probably, I don't know what they did there. It's a little, see that it's a little kind of a wrinkle in there, warped. I don't know, but that would be good to check out. Um, you got a little shelter for shoes or boots. And let me turn this off. Um, so this is the cabin. Very straightforward. Nice little ceiling fan there. Probably needs to be cleaned. I usually do it after a while. So um, this does have the one air conditioner, which is plenty for what you have. And um, I will send you the G the uh, MLS sheet on this one. I want, you probably will have it before you have the video. So uh, you can look on that for details of square footage and things like that. Um, but I can tell you, Oneida, I like Oneida. Uh, lots of places to eat. They're mostly fast food. There is a good steakhouse. Um, there, uh, there's a park 
And if you're gonna just come down here part of the time, uh, there is also, uh, I mentioned the, um, the boat, boating and, and things like that, boating and fishing. We have Dale Hollow Lake, Dale, like the man's name, Hollow Lake. And that is about, four, I wanna say, maybe 45 minutes from here. Um, could be up to an hour, but I know it's not more than an hour. It's, it's an hour from Jamestown and oh, not as closer. So probably 45 minutes, you have a beautiful lake. People love to um, boat on it and they fish. And there's a marina down there called East Point Marina. And you can um, Google that and see some pictures. And uh, it's really neat. So you've got tons of out outdoor activities that you can do here and from here. So make this your weekend home and uh, come down and uh, enjoy. So it's been a pleasure showing you the house. I hope you love it. And if you would like to make an offer, it does need some work. So we would take that in consideration. Um, and you would have an inspection so that you're not buying anything that is that is defective. Um, if there are defects, we get them fixed by the seller or we walk. So um, I'll help you be protected there. So just let me know if I can help. And um, I'll just end up with showing you around outside a little bit more. But that's the cabin. How you do, as I mentioned, have a deadbolt for security. If you're going to, other direction. If you're going to be gone for like days at a time, I would definitely use that. Okay. All right, I've got to set the phone. Down. Okay. There you go. Okay. Both of these are locked now, so this very secure. Um, and you do have the neighbor across the street. I can't remember his name, um, but he, he kind of looks after things. And I think the lady over there might be the lady that bought the, the cabin right next to you. So it's kind of a little, neat little community up here. I, I didn't know that's what they had done, but that's pretty cool. So let me um, put the keys up in the um, lockbox. Might be something you might want to con um, consider leaving, some, getting a lockbox and putting your keys in that um, so that when you come down, you don't have to worry about losing your key. Just keep it on the lockbox. Unless somebody knows the code, they can't get in. Because these things are very secure, I can tell you from experience. So that's kind of a top a long step uh, step down there, but probably for you, I have really short legs, so it seems pretty severe to me. Probably to you, it wouldn't be a big deal. So we're gonna go back downstairs. Oh, also, uh, a little plus, if you're into ATVs, um, there is an amazing ATV park that is very close to here. It's, it's in the town of Huntsville, Tennessee, and um, it is just, probably eight or ten miles from here and there's uh, a mountain called Brimstone Mountain and it's a recreational center. It is made for ATVs and people love it. Um, and also there's one called Royal Blue. That's another um, ATV area and um, people go there and stay for the day. They have little restaurants that you can go to. Um, I'm sure they have bars, beer and stuff like that. Um, and you can just trailer your ATVs over there, and um, probably you could ride, ride them on that, that bumpy road, uh, would be no problem. Here's your propane tank, and um, I'm not sure. This has natural gas and propane, that's interesting. Um, hmm, I have to check that out. But you, um, most of the time people uh, lease these tanks from the company, and uh, there are several uh, propane companies in this area, and uh, they're very common in the rural south. Um, so you either run off of propane, which there's your connection, or you have natural gas. Up here. So this is your natural gas. Um, this would be your crawl space. It's probably locked. Yes, it's locked. Um, so that's 
probably where your water heater and uh, things like that are. And that would be something that the inspector would check out if you proceed with the, um, buying the house. They've um, burned a stump here so it doesn't come back. It's too close to the house. So it's nice and quiet out here. I'm, I'm not hearing anything, no traffic. Um, yeah, only thing I hear is birds. Some oyster shells here. So this is a very rural area, like I said, and um, I think you'd really like it here. It's, um, it's a very easy uh, way of life. Things here go, I'm from Nashville originally. Um, I lived in Nashville, New Orleans, um, and I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. Um, it's getting pretty, pretty dangerous down there. But uh, I lived there for 20 years and um, moved back to Tennessee, lived in a small town in south of Nashville, and um, then moved back to Nashville, another part. Um, went to graduate school in Houston for a year. Big, huge, big city. But um, um, I found people quite friendly. I think, it, I guess it was because it was still the South. But um, so I was there and then ended up in Washington State, lived there for five years on Whidbey Island. It was really awesome. And, um, but this is really cool. It's a really laid back style of life. And, um, hi, how you doing? Did you buy the cabin over there? Yeah. Is that yours? Oh, awesome. I remember showing it to a couple and they loved it, but it didn't work out for them. So, and I met you. Hi. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, it's a very easy, easy going style of life. Um, and I'm going to get it out of the, out of the heat. It's pretty pretty hot today. I say it's probably 90, which is really hot for us. And um, so I hope you like it. And um, sorry about the, oh goodness. Okay, there we go. Um, so here's your front, front view again of the cabin. And um, after you see it, if you have any questions or you wanna make an offer and see how it flies, um, just let me know. You can email me, text me, or call me. Um, so I appreciate your time and I uh, hope to meet you soon. Thanks. Bye.